Did you know it's possible to find a mouse in your car? I am so grossed out. With a mouse nest and babies? Yeah, me either. It was just a regular afternoon. Scout Davy and I loaded up in the car and headed out for an afternoon drive for a nap. I love to drive up to the mountains to be surrounded by nature, especially on a rainy day. After driving for a bit, I looked in the back of the car and saw both kids were asleep. Score. I found a spot to pull over and park. I got comfy and started reading one of my childhood favorite books. And then I kept hearing a sound. Oh my gosh, what is that? Shocked about the baby mouse, I took a picture and video of it and sent it to Jake. Before I knew it, I looked down and the baby was gone! Panicked, I lifted up my purse from the floor of the car and found another baby mouse. I'm in shock right now. Baby mice in my car. I had no idea how the mice babies got into our car. I assumed since we were out in the forest, they must have gotten in our car while we were napping? I also kept wondering what happened to the other baby mouse. Things were not adding up. Gowdy, hi. Guess what? There's two baby mice in our car. Can you help me take care of the baby mice? Yeah. Yeah? Little did I know how haunting that sound would be and how long it would last for. Having no idea where the mama of this mouse could be, but also feeling for the tiny newborn mouse, we left it in the car for a bit, hoping the mom would come back for it. There's daddy. There's a baby yeah. mouse like you got. There's a baby mouse down yeah. here? Yeah. Well, so the interesting thing is. Where do you think it came from? I don't know, but see all the little paper things? The paper, I thought, but baby crumbled it up, but maybe not. I don't think so. I thought it was the Kleenex, but it must not be. No, it is Kleenex. Mice use paper to make nests. Mice use paper to make nests. Oh gosh. My mice. Running a thousand stories right now. Hey, look now. out, girls. Okay. We're gonna have to get this little baby All right, out. Alright, daddy's here. gonna get the baby out. Look he can sleep you. right there. Okay, we want him to stay warm. Okay, there's one more. I Possibly. know of. <laughs> Possibly, you say. Jake thinks it might be the same one, but I think they had different body lengths and shapes. Davy, what should we name the baby mouse? I uh, like the baby mouse. I'm gonna call around some rescue places and see if we can find a home for this little cutie. The mouse has eyes. Yeah, its eyes are closed because it's it was just born, I think. It says in about two weeks its eyes will open. Oh, you're walking so softly. Good job. Don't touch him, it will tired. I'm a dish. Oh, do you think mouse would like that? Yeah, I'm a dish. Jay thinks it's a rat. I think it might be a rat. <laughs> oh, that a, one's a guinea pig. I see two guinea pigs like you. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here's some little rats. Oh, those are mice. Wow, two I really mice. I need to learn my rodents. Be mice. Online, I read that milk replacement for dogs would be good for our little baby. Is he still alive? He's moving, yeah. We're so excited yeah, to see Mouse. Cheese. Cute, Davy. Cute, Scouty. Okay, we gotta be okay, gentle. Okay, mixing stuff. the milk for baby Mouse. Let's see if he'll, if he smells it or supposed to have it sitting up and then we're supposed to make sure that we don't force it but put it on its mouth because if you start to see the milk coming through the nose that's not good. Oh he drank it. Ziki leave it. Zeke leave it. Oh I'm just getting it all over him. Oh our first time feeding. Sorry baby mouse we're we're learning. Baby mouse. Yeah, I think 
Mickey, that's for Baby Mouse. Thanks, Gal. Good job, Baby Mouse. Oh, is this the most we've seen him move? I think he's happy. Just grab my vacuum. Gonna clean out the car. I don't know what to think of all of this. I hope the Baby Mouse makes it. He might be fool. I like mouse. I like mouse too. I like mouse too. Now Jake's wiping his poop off for her. Okay, where's her bed? Let's get her in her bed. Oh, so cute, mouse. So cute. You feel cozy. I love my baby mouse, mouse. I want to see how big she is. So bigger than one inch. Oh, don't find me in my mouse. Because she's kind of curled up in a ball right now. Stressful. I know. I like. I know. I'm really worried about time because I'm like, it needs to be fed every hour. I gotta drop her out. Like, I need to go get her food. This is stressful. Stressful. I care about it. Just hold her. Good job, Scouty. Hold her right there, okay? Okay. Let's see if she'll drink any milk. It's Baby Mouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Davy, are you holding Baby Mouse? We were worried Baby Mouse might get cold, so we googled and got some ideas. We put a heat pad for Baby Mouse on half of the box and also got a little hand towel to burrow under. Looking for a home for Mouse, thinking one of these two. 1 a.m. <laughs> and Baby Mouse is so lively. Jake's trying to help Mouse go potty. Best husband ever. I think I'm just a little nervous to touch Mouse. I don't want to become attached. He's really, really cute. Baby Mouse, you've got this. We're cheering you on. Night, night, Mouse. You got this. Well, we just got ready to feed Baby Mouse. And the bad news. Baby Mouse didn't make it through the night. Um, we are making preparations for Baby Mouse's funeral. You had to win Baby Mouse. A headstone for Baby Mouse, yes. Yeah, you pretty put my Baby Mouse. Let's go find a spot to bury Baby Mouse. Okay. Maybe under this big tree like or by the, the rock. We might need some umbrellas. The weather is mourning for our baby <laughs> mouse. Bye bye. Hey. Want to say goodbye to baby goodbye. mouse? Hey. Bye, baby mouse. Sorry we couldn't keep you alive. I know. Sad day. Anything you'd like to say to baby mouse? I'm going to cry. gathered here together to celebrate the life of Baby Mouse. We had a fun time while it lasted. We're sad it was so quick, but we're grateful that we got to meet Baby Mouse. She was in our life for just a short time, but... Less than 24 hours. But very impactful, though. Yes, the girls really loved Baby Mouse. Died. No, but the great thing is, we were able to celebrate Baby Mouse's life, huh? Baby Mouse. As Davy, Scout, and I drove around for nap time, the realization set in that a Baby Mouse probably didn't just magically appear in our car, all alone. goodness yeah do you hear the squeaking you hear the squeaking yeah there's lots of squeaking going on in the car just called a car shop and <laughs> they've actually had encountered this problem before to have them remove the front dash 
it's gonna cost $1,100. <laughs> I'm calling around to some more shops, trying to get ideas and advice on what to do, but this is like over my head. It's 10 o'clock at night and the kids are finally in bed. And so we we're, need to go find we're those rats. Try find them. <laughs> I know, I'm a little scared. I know, I'm just like worried they're gonna jump on me. Oh, they're gonna be, and if it's a mama, she's gonna be protective. Yeah, because I would be. The title of this YouTube video is going to be how to remove the glove box of your 2017 Toyota Sienna in the middle of the night. Gosh. Following the directions, okay. push it on the side. Oh. Okay, just. I don't see anything yet, but just... I don't see anything either. <laughs> Is there anything else you can take out? Um, well, no, yeah, I can take out this filter. So that's really all I can do. I mean, I can start going at screws. As we're sitting here, I'm so nervous. There's just gonna be babies falling out because that literally did happen. All right, well, I'm gonna pull this filter out. Okay. <sighs> like, just do it. Commit. Oh my gosh, that's it. It's totally there. Oh, do it's it. It's totally there. Do it, no. Jake. That's where all this, do you see all the tissues? It's totally it. there, oh my gosh, all right. Do I need it. a bigger box. I'm not gonna use this box. Can we put a blanket down and then we can drop the babies off in the forest? Yeah, no, I don't know. I... <sighs> we have a support dog here. The same reason I'm panicking. I don't know why this is so nerve wracking, but I think the anticipation of not knowing what it's gonna look like, well, like a, a and nest. are there dead babies? Are there live babies? Is the mom in there? We're doing this. Oh my gosh. What? It's just poop? No, this is the bottom. We're gonna need to buy a new one of those. Oh yeah, I need to start scooping them out, scooping out the bottom of the nest and everything's gonna fall down. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna poke my eyes. Look, I'm pulling it. I can't even watch. Like, I know, you're obviously not because the hook's I'm not just, working. Uh, well, no, I'm just really grossed out, Jake. There's what? like plants, oh. nuts. Is that a french fry? It's all seed. It's like seed things. Oh. Where are they? Well, exactly. Where's the top of the nest? Like, maybe there's a gap. This doesn't make any sense. Jake's sticking his phone up there trying to see. Until I see a little trail of paper. Bad news is there's no rats. It's empty. It's empty. But we know there's rats. So I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but instead of eating wires, I'm going to attempt the mama rat with some delicious peanut butter. One fell down. She's up there. They're moving around. Oh my gosh. I found an old trap in the garage. It has some bugs in it. I just don't even know what to feel about this because no, I just... Need to, babe. I know. I know. She's I just... in here. I just heard her. I just feel so bad. I don't feel bad this at all This is like now. the worst ever. All right. I'm nervous to check the car. Hopefully. I don't think there's going to be anything, but yeah. I'm nervous. Okay. Any action? Not us. Nothing. Lots of rain. We've been wanting to leave the doors open to air out and hopefully get the rats out, but it has been raining. I just feel like this has gone from taking care of a baby rat to so opposite. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kill that unspeakable thing once and for all. I'm sad it's come to this, but we've got to do. Have on no, no, no. Stay back, lads! I'm a man on a mission! When we went to buy supplies, there was two other people that we met also buying rat traps for the same purpose as rats in their car. I just got back from dropping off the car at the mechanic shop. He actually recommended not taking apart the entire dash because he says when you do that, they end up moving around anyway, going further into the engine or they could be anywhere else. They're gonna take a little look and a little diagnostics on it. We'll see when we get a call back. What's the damage? on a car ride with all my buddies. We got the girls' car seats in here. Since we only have one car, we were grateful the UTV is street legal. We had fun driving it around for a few days and loved not hearing squeaky mouse sounds at nap time or worrying that another baby mouse would magically fall from the dash of the car. 
we took it into the shop. They couldn't find any rats or traces of rats. They hadn't used for any wires or anything like that. But we did pay for and install this little strobe light thing that flashes. And it flashes all the time. It uses a battery, but it's it doesn't a, drain it. Yeah, it's an LED. And in there. that way it will scare off any rodents coming through. They don't like the bright light. Luckily, it ended up only costing a few hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. Davey's been putting peppermint oil everywhere. We feel really grateful this could have been a lot worse. With mice out of the car, so we thought, we resumed back to our normal routines. We even started a new routine of cleaning out the car on the weekends. Jake hearing mice sounds quickly investigated to see what was going on. All right, man, I didn't get a chance to video that, but I totally reached in, grabbed the nest, I mean, I had some gloves on, pulled it out, and it was wiggling, so I threw it on the ground, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just thrown it in the trash. Mm. You're right in here, so there's just a little thing in nest right here. Oh. Just reached and pulled it out. Oh my goodness, and they were in it. Yep. So there's one mom and one baby, and they totally went on the ground, and then they scampered underneath, and I looked under the car, and I saw them go up and crawl up the front wheel, and now they're back in the car. I did not expect that. Yeah, I didn't either. I thought they were gone. Back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa. Every time I hear the mice in the car, I think of on Mouse Hunt when they're trying to get the mice and nothing's working. That's how it feels right now. The next day we had another mouse sighting. It was Mama Mouse hanging out on the dash of the car. Although very cute, we knew it was time for Mama and Baby Mouse to go. I was telling a friend about her mouse problem and she crazy enough had a mouse in her brand new truck two weeks after they got it and recommended electric mouse traps. I hoped it wouldn't come to this, but worried the mice were eating wires in the car, we had to do something. We got the mouse trap set up in the car and headed for the hottest place we knew of, Phoenix, Arizona. The good news, we never found the mice in the traps. That Arizona heat got them out. So my hopes is they're living a happy life in the desert. Bye mice.